Hello, it is Tara Lee here from Camel Channel. I'm a camel behavior, wellness and energy expert. And every month I do a full moon energy forecast to give you a bit of an understanding of what's ahead for the next cycle of the moon. Um, and also how to deepen your connection, your bond, your experiences with your camels and obviously with yourself, which therefore naturally flows into a deeper connection with your camel. I'm sitting in an old tram. I have the camels surrounding me, so I'm, I'm in a good vibe, good energy here. And one of the, um, if, if you watched last month's energy forecast for February, it was all about connection and deepening those connections and relationships that you felt aligned to. And I talked a lot about deepening your connection with your camels and how to do that with this full moon, full moon energy that's happening. And inter interestingly enough, this month in March, what we're looking at and I've got goosebumps just thinking about it, is transformation. And I, I meditated a lot on this, like for a good probably three days before doing this video, because I wanted you to get a good understanding of what transformation could look like for you. Um, I know what it's looking like for me. I often feel the full moon energy a week or two prior to before it's happening, which is kind of helpful because then I can do these videos and you know what to expect. Or maybe you're one of those people and you feel it earlier rather than when it, the full moon is happening. Um, if you're not sure when the full moon is happening, check your local whatevers to check on it. But I know in Australia, um, I think it's uh, it's, a, it's a 17th today, but the full moon is on the 18th, um, pretty early in the afternoon, around four o'clock Eastern, um, Australian Eastern, um, stand, no, daylight savings time. Um, so yeah, check where you're at. Um, obviously, if you're in the United States, it's usually the following day, but um, this is a truly powerful time for transformation. Very exciting times. It, <clears throat> very exciting times, but also um, it can be, it can, it, the energy could be, it could be feeling heavy. Like you could be feeling like this is too hard. I don't want to do this anymore. How can I eliminate the stress out of my life? How can I, um, just make life a bit more simpler and transformation can mean a many different things. It could be in your personal life. It could be in your spiritual life. It could be in absolutely anything. And the real theme that's coming up for me, um, this full moon energy forecast video is all about your dreams and goals. What are your camel dreams and goals and how are you going to achieve them? And you feel like, well, I have my goals, but I have no clue on how to achieve them, then this is the time to discover that. So what you're really being called to do during this full moon energy is to actually write a list, a, a list of steps that you can take moving forward to make your camel dreams um, and goals possible. And if you're unsure of those steps or, or what you should put on that list um, and you've dabbled in meditation I do encourage you to meditate if you aren't experienced with meditation obviously you can learn but you know the full moon's coming up quite soon so instead of meditating which is similar just sit in silence out in nature and and wait for the answers to come or you might get a strike of inspiration and, and it might not it might not even be a list. It might be just one or two things that you know you need to do to make your camel dreams possible. It, it frustrates me and as much as it frustrates you uh, when we have our dreams and goals and we're like, well, that's a thing and I know I want it, but we don't know how to get it. <laughs> um, and, and then we become a victim to our own goals and dreams. We come up like, I get emails every day, like this is my common goal and dream, but it's never gonna happen because of X, Y, Z. I'm like, well, there's the problem right there. You know, like um, it comes from a place of compassion and love and I, I deeply want all your camel dreams and goals to come true or any, not just camel stuff, but all the things. Um, but you've got to want that for yourself too. If you have this camel idea and this dream and this grow and this ambition to do something with camels, 
The other question to ask yourself, is this a place from ego or is this a place from heart? Is this a place from comparing what other people are doing or is this something deeply I want to do? And in the past, I have struggled with this. Like I've seen other camel people do certain things like, damn, I really want to do that and I'd go and do it. And the energy was never aligned and it was a good experience, but it was never a, a real soulful experience. So make sure that your camel dreams and goals are your own. Sure, you can get inspiration from other people but make sure you own them that there's an element of you in there there's an element of your heart and your soul to be part of that that is your uh, your message is is part of this transformation is stop waiting around stop making excuses start writing out steps or or coming up with ideas on how to make your camel dreams and goals possible and your ambitions or whatever that is there's got to be little daily steps that you can do every day to make that possible and if you're saving for a camel maybe that's okay well you know what i'm just going to save a dollar a day effort i'm doing it i'm saving a dollar a day i know it's not much but i know it's something and that is one step that um, forward towards your goal and you might be going well yeah a dollar's not much and that's going to take me like 10 years to get a camel like depending on where you're located and how much camel costs but it's that's not the point the point is you've taken a step that means you're serious that you're committed and that the universe has got your back on that and it will help or universal god or whoever you believe in or whatever you believe in that they are going to support you with because you've made that step so first you've got the goal you've got the dream got the goal or dream and then you've got okay well I'm damn serious about this so I'm going to take a step or several steps or maybe there's something you can do on a daily basis to get you closer to your camel dreams and goals for me I know consistency is real key so I've got my my list of things that I need to do a week and it is non-negotiable I 100% have to do that list no matter what I mean you know obviously there's emergencies and things like that but for the most part it's a non-negotiable so some things that are coming up so you've got the transformational part that your camel dreams and goals mean something to you and you've got to take action on that and i want to check my notes to make sure i'm covering all this so the other real point um, that came up is do you do you believe that you have what it takes to achieve your camel dreams and goals or do you secretly doubt yourself because that has a lot to do with the energy around here and the energy is really intense because um, we're in a bit of a clash of really strong planets at the moment and um, one saying one thing and the other saying the other thing so you've got to just really tap into yourself and go well you know what like yeah I have been doubting myself what the hell like I want this thing and I've spent five years or three years or the last six months thinking that I can't have it stop it stop it it has to stop so you can move forward and you can grow to the into the person that you're meant to be moving forward the other thing that um, I, I see come up a lot and, and is a strong message this month is do you quietly prepare for failure do you go well I want this thing but in your mind you're going okay well this is plan b if it, if it doesn't work out the plan b is helpful sometimes but not in this energy not in this full moon you've got to go I want this I have some steps to make it happen and there is there is no failure plan if it, if it doesn't happen simple as that they're like everything is behind you right now for transformation and for achieving your your your, your goals and um naturally here we're talking about camel dreams and goals but any goal um so the energy is behind you right now so make the most of that take 100 percent advantage of that um moving into the next moon cycle and the other thing is, is you were like, well, I feel pretty satisfied with my camel dreams and goals. Um, I feel like I, I've got to the point where I need to get through. Maybe your next transformation is transforming um, your relationship with your camel. Therefore, transforming your relationship with yourself. Camels will always reflect how you feel. They'll always reflect uh, your inner thoughts and, and, and how, how you're reacting to the world, how you uh, your persona to the outside world so that might be taking a good look at yourself um, 
however that looks like for you often like I find meditation really helpful in that way um, and, and being out in nature going for walks or runs or just doing stuff outdoors maybe like if you're having a clash with your camels or camel um, there's something that needs to transform there and this is the energy that is behind you right now to help you do that so another a few more pointers listen to your heart and not your mind um, don't be too logical about your camel dreams and goals moving forward um, you've got to um, be more heart-centered than mind-centered so you might have this dream and goal that you want to do it comes from the heart it doesn't come from the mind and everything moving forward that that heart energy um, and and again the full moon energy um, this month in March is going to really propel you forward so don't think that you're not feeling anything yet like it might take a good 30 days or 60 days for the work that you're going to do this this full moon cycle to settle in and then suddenly you'll have an explosion of all the wonderful things that are about to happen for you so um, brace yourself for that it will be epic and I, I really believe this will happen for you if you get behind yourself on this um, be consistent be consistent with with what with your goals and dreams moving forward whether that be a daily list monthly list or just like his 10 steps or his three steps that i can take in the next next month towards my camel dreams or goals that is your message right there is to be consistent so the thing the thing with um coming up with new ideas or, or or pursuing a dream is the mind gets bored really quickly and this is more brain science and spiritual stuff but you know the mind's like oh that was fun and that was adventurous and you know that was cool to think those thoughts for a while and you know it loves the stimulation the monkey mind loves the stimulation and then uh, reality starts to set in and the monkey goes okay i'm bored we need something new that is when you need to be consistent that's when you need your stickability that's when you need to Remember the things that um, you're writing down this full moon energy so that you can keep propelling forward that's where a lot of people go wrong is they're like well it didn't work you know I can never see this happening because that consistency wasn't there so regarding the animal energy um, we've got a lot of snake energy around and it's so weird when, when I really feel into animal energy like I honestly like I'm constantly looking for that animal um, last last month in March it was the kookaburra which is about connections and relationships and family and building strong bonds and connections and this month it's about the snake the, the reptile like it's a transformation it's a um, it's a shedding of a new skin um, it's being consistent snakes are very consistent they're very routine they have, like you know if you've got one hanging around the house you might never know because they know your routine when you come in and when you go out and they know when it's safe to come out so very consistent like shedding of that old self just letting yourself morph into this um, new uh, this new life that you want to create for yourself or this new dream or this new reality that you want to create for yourself and of course that consistency and creating those routines for yourself so that you can assist the energy that's behind you this month with the full moon to propel forward so I brought my tarot deck with me um, this month I didn't last month I actually didn't have them last month because I got a brand new deck so I'm just going to pull a card or two to see what happens and just see what comes out just to give you a bit of in-depth feeling on what's what's going on this month temperance So we've got a beautiful picture there of new horizons. We've got um, we've got lots of water, which water just is is ever evolving energy and, and constantly changing, but also remaining the same. It's still the same element. It's still the same thing. And um, and we've got an angel in there, like with with wings, meaning that you are very supported right now. And if you, you do the things to get behind yourself on your camel dreams and goals, you are supported. And when the days that you don't feel supported and you feel like everything's not working towards, like everything's working against you, just keep that image in your mind that, um, or just remind yourself that I am supported, I am supported, even though your reality might not reflect it, which is often really untrue because I go through stages of like, I'm so unsupported. And then when I really just sit down and have a good think about the beautiful people in my life, I'm like, damn. <laughs> 
I am so loved. And that's the other thing this card is saying is lots of love. There's lots of growth. There's, you know, there's lots of plants. There's, um, there's like mountains in the background. So yeah, of course there's challenges ahead, but there's a horizon. There's, there's the sun that's always rising. You've got a new, um, a new, every day that you wake up, you've got a new opportunity to be someone different or do something different to, to, to propel forward to wherever you want to be in life. And that being said, you're also okay just as you are now you know like you've you're steadfast you know you've, you feed a semi in the water and semi on the ground and that's okay you're steadfast in who you are and who you are is enough um, but that shouldn't affect your growth mindset you are enough to grow more you are enough to to have your goals and dreams whatever that might be come true for you it's an absolutely beautiful card it's been a while since I've thrown this one out and the actual um, there's a triangle in there too pointing upwards so you know like again you are supported and if you you have a um, something that you believe in whether that be God or a goddess or spirit or soul or higher self that is what you need to be looking to on a daily basis and that whether that be coming through um, coming through meditation or going for walks outdoors or just being outdoors being with your camel however that looks like for you make sure you tap on that into that on a daily basis it doesn't have to be for long but it just has to be a thing beautiful beautiful card so we see if there's another one I always like different surprises so let's <laughs> see what else is up here I'm a terrible shuffler okay Whew. king of pentas there's lots of abundance um, ahead of you um, and when I say abundance, that could mean different things for every person. That could be monetary. That could be that your dreams and goals are about to unfold if you um, follow the steps that are behind. This follow the energy. Let the energy, mm, like, let the energy of this full moon like drift you forward. Like, let it let it be like a you know being on a, one of those floaty things in the water. Like, let it take you downstream. Um, we don't want to go upstream anymore. We want things easier. We want things um, more smooth running. And um, yeah, so there's just lots of details there. There's, you know, you've got a kingdom, you've got um, abundance, you've got your animal pr protectors, like there's lots going on there. So um, I really hope you got a lot of value out of this full moon um, energy forecast. And if you have any comments or things that you'd like to debrief with or say, hey, look, this is my goal and this is what, these are the several things I'm going to do this month to make it happen. I would absolutely love to hear about that in the comment section. Wherever you're listening, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these full moon energy forecasts coming up or, you know, kind of camel theme and of course you know also on this these um, platforms here I share lots of practical camel information as well so of course it's 100% possible to for you to be spiritual and to be successful don't ever doubt that that is the the leading um, message with this transformation that it's okay to be successful you don't necessarily have to change who you are you might have to change a few mindset things but fundamentally you don't have to change who you are um, you've just got to make some practical steps moving forward and tap into that snake energy like really you know like I know snakes give the heebie-jeebies to people but their energy is so incredibly powerful so whatever makes you feel comfortable like just tap into that energy of that transformation even if it's just that imagining of shedding of a of an old skin like um whatever you feel comfortable with like i adore reptiles so um only because they're just incredible energy to be around so transformation is this month's theme and um, please go ahead and make your camel dreams and goals possible while you're at it make every other goal and dream possible by being consistent writing a list starting some small lists and letting the energy of this month's full moon get behind you on that again my name is tara lee i'm a camel behaviors and wellness and energy expert here at camel channel please subscribe to wherever you're listening to this and we'll catch you in the next video